Good morning, everyone. My name is Coach Brandy, and thank you for joining the Aquatic and Athletic Center for our kids camp of arts and crafts. Today, we're going to be following along with a painting with a twist, and I'm going to show you guys how to paint a minion. Hey guys, these are some of the supplies that we're going to go ahead and start with. Um, you guys are going to grab a canvas of any size, um, some paints, some paint brushes. Um, I grabbed two plates, a cup of water, and I didn't picture it, but you're also going to need a ruler and a bottle cap and some chalk or some pencils, whatever you want to use, and that's just going to help us trace out some of the things that we're going to need for our minion. Okay, so one of the first things I did, I went ahead and got out all the colors that I was going to need. Um, just for the background, first I started with the background and um, I grabbed a blue and a green, a yellow and a white and I just mixed them all together so that I can get kind of a turquoise color, um, like a teal turquoise color for the background of it. Again, you can paint your background whatever color you want, be as creative as you want, but this is just the colors that I used for the background of my entire canvas. Um, I just mixed the colors all together to kind of get it the color that I wanted. There's, um, you know, not, there's nothing too much or too little of what you want. It's whatever you want and whatever you feel satisfied with. After I went ahead and mixed all of my blue, green, white, and yellow together to make this teal color, the color that I wanted for my background, like remember like I said, you can make your background any color that you want, that's just the color that I went with. Um, I went ahead and started grabbing all the other colors that I would use for my entire canvas. So I used some yellow, you know, for my minion, and then I went ahead and grabbed some white. And then I grabbed my black and I added a little bit of white in there so that I could get it not such a deep black. I kind of wanted it to be a little light. After I uh, stopped mixing my black, I went ahead and grabbed uh, my white paint again. And I put it right next to the other white one. I just put a little dab there and then I got my black paint and I mixed it in with the white to give me kind of a gray metallic look and that's the look I'm going to use for my minion's eye as well. Um, and I just went ahead and mixed that. I added more white if I needed more white, just whatever color you desire. And remember your minion does not have to be yellow. You don't have to go with any of these colors. Try to be as creative as possible but these are just the colors that I went with. After I got the gray metallic color that I was looking for for my minion's eye, I went ahead and grabbed the last color that I would be using and that was a brown and I grabbed my brown and I just put a little bit right in the middle of there. So these are going to be all the colors that I'm going to be needing for my project. Okay, let's go ahead and start moving on to our canvas. The first thing you want to do is grab your plate and trace a circle around at the bot towards the bottom of your canvas i noticed that you need to if you're going to do it with pencil i would do a little lighter than that just because it might be a little hard to um, cover up with the paint i also moved my circle a little higher than what i first traced it on um, and then you want to grab a red solo cup and you want to put it right in the middle of your circle that you drew and that's gonna play as your minion's eye and after you do that you want to grab your ruler and then you want to make two lines right outside of you, the middle of the eye going straight on the outside of your minion 
and that's going to be kind of like the glasses or the band of your minion. Um, one of the first things I did after that, I went ahead and dipped into my yellow and I just started painting away. And even though you can see with the pencil, you want to open up the circle just a little bit more of the minion. So the bottom of your minion is going to kind of look like the end of a Twinkie. Um, and so I just mixed and I colored all my minion in the whole time, uh, making sure I went over it with layers and layers and layers. And like I said, again, I would wait or I wouldn't wait, I would trace with a pencil a lot lighter than what I did, barely so you can, so only you can see the lines and not really anybody else, just so your paint can cover it all. But since my minion was yellow and I went a little hard on my pencil, um, it was kind of hard to cover up all of that um, pencil marks. After waiting for my minion to dry a little bit, I went ahead and went in with my white and I just colored all inside of my minion's eye and that's just going to help us, you know, make it look a lot more prettier, a lot more whiter. So I just went in with the white and I tried to clean up as much as possible around the edges so that you didn't see any yellow inside or anything. So I would be very careful with this and I would do it with a small flat brush just so that you're able to get right into the edges of your eye. After I went in with the white, I went ahead and grabbed another small flat brush and I went in with the black, with my black paint and I went in um, on the corners where we drew for the glasses or the band around the eyes. I just went ahead and colored all of that black. Um, like I said, I would do a small brush again just so that you're able to get right into those little corners and making it as straight as possible. Alright guys, the next thing I did, I went back into my yellow and I just try to make my minion a little bit more wider so that I can utilize the entire space of my canvas from the bottom of my canvas. So I just went ahead and just painted um, the all the way to towards the edge of my canvas just to make the minion look a little bit more bigger and a little bit more fuller. 
Um, I also went ahead and did another layer of yellow just so that I can deepen that color and just go over some white streaks that I saw in my minion. Um, After I went ahead and uh, painted more of my minion, I grabbed some of my gray from my paint and I mixed it in with a little bit more of my white just to give me a little bit more of a metallic looking color. And I just mixed it until you know I got the consistency that I wanted, adding more white to it. And then after I went ahead and got the color that I liked, I grabbed a flat brush, a small flat brush and I used it just to uh, carve the inside of my eye just right around the corners just to give it a little bit more of a pop. After I painted the inside of my minion's eye gray, I grabbed a bottle cap and I put it right in the middle of the minion's eye and I traced it and that's going to play as part of the pupil of my minion. After I traced it, I went in with my brown and I just colored the whole thing brown making it as dark as possible and I just did that until it was the shade of brown that I wanted along with the shape. After I went ahead and colored my minion the way that I wanted, I went in with the first color that we mixed um, with that little teal aqua looking color and I just went ahead and started coloring my entire background and I did it to get the shade that I wanted and I did it as dark as I wanted it to be. Like I remember, like I said, it does not have to be this color, it's whatever color you think um, fits with your minion in the background and these are just the colors that I chose. I left the edges um, right where you get into my minion. I left those blank so that I can get a smaller flat brush and I can get right into those little creases um, just so that I didn't mess it up with the big brush. So then I grabbed a small flat brush and I went in with the same color that I used as my background and that's when I started getting 
precise right into the corner of the minion so that it didn't mix in with the yellow. After painting the background of my minion, I went in and grabbed a small flat brush and I kind of made it as flat as I could and I went into the black and I just started making a little bit of hair patches on my minion. You can do any kind of hair that you want. This is just the one that I made. You can do little curlies, little spikes, a little mohawk, whatever you want for your minion. This is yours and I want you to be as creative as you want as possible. After everything was done, I went in with a, a small flat brush again and I went into the black and I just kind of outlined everything just to give, um, you know, my minion a little bit more of a pop so that it stands out from the background. It didn't just blend in with the background. So I just went in um, on the top of my minion and I just went in with the black and I tried to do it as carefully as possible and as slow as, as I could so that I didn't mess up with anything and I, you can do the lines as thick as you want or as thin as you want, whatever you want to do. Okay guys, this is the ending of my minion and like I said, you can do whatever you want with your minion if you want to put a little um, happy face on it or you know a little mouth with the tongue sticking out. Whatever you want to do, this is just how my minion looked and I hope you guys had a lot of fun and I can't wait to see y'all's minions. Thank you!